Welcome back to part 37 of my Satsuma Let's Play for Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai. We continue where we things off last time. Go through the end phase. And another enemy army has landed. They've invaded and they have attacked us at Bungo. So, we need to see if we can see them off. We have fought similar odds before in the past and managed to win. But they do have a naval bombardment. And they've also got some Shogun infantry and carbine cavalry and sharpshooters. They could just overwhelm us with the spear levy. So we may not win this. But by damn. We'll see if we can take down as many of them as possible with us. In we go. Let's see if we can survive Suda uh, Nagakatsu's advance. I should remember what faction this is that's coming up against us right now. Just one of our many enemies. And spread my troops out as much as I can. But this should also give me a couple of units. Three. To deal with the enemy once they climb on up. If they manage to climb on up. Uh, in fact, actually, with those guys coming in here, I might even pop that unit back there just to help out to start with. Are they just rushing forward with the spears? Yeah. I wish these were lined up for you because then we could do the um, Neil Rank fire. Which would obviously be super effective. We're trying as much as we can. When these guys start climbing, I'll have to pull units back and gun them down as they come to take position on the walls like that one there. Yeah. Leave them there. These guys can stay firing. But the rest of them should be able to fire across. I'm hoping we'll just make a kill zone as they climb up. We've got these guys here. Preparing to fire as well. I don't think I can hold this, but... We'll see. We get incredibly lucky dealing with the troops. If we like manage to break them and shatter them as they climb on up quickly, then maybe, just maybe. Uh, what mods am I using? I'm using uh, just visual tweak mods. I'm using a better camera mod for more camera movement um, and less camera restrictions. I'm using the um, uh, bayonet mod, which just visually adds a bayonet to the uh, line infantry models. It doesn't change any stats though. And I'm also using the, uh, I forget the name of the mod, but it basically, it changes the, the look of the um, avatar of your army on the campaign map based on what troops make up your army composition. So no, nothing that affects gameplay um, at all, just, just pure visual tweaks. Yeah, we're going to be in trouble here. We have to pull those guys off the wall to form up into this position and send those guys back over that way. 
I don't want to give ourselves too much hope here. But are we doing it? Are we beating these guys back? You can't actually see, but there's a mod that makes actually makes them all bold. Uh, bald, we just can't see it with their hats. <laughs> You'd never know, would you? Balance power is adjusting. I think we might be able to win it here, though. Honestly, Shogun 2 is the one total game I haven't ever felt the need for gameplay tweaking mods for, personally. Yeah, I mean, Shogun 2... I mean, I played I played Shogun 2 and Call of the Samurai with Darth Mod. Um, last time I played Shogun 2 uh, and Fall of the Samurai, I chose to do it without with, with Darth Mod, actually. Haven't really felt the need for it this time around, actually. I've quite enjoyed it. Purely vanilla. Um... I would say the same probably goes for me for Rome 1 and Medieval 2. They've just broken. See if you can reform here. That'll help you out a little bit. Yeah, I managed to get into Medieval 2 personally. It's a good game. I'd love to do a, uh, a Kingdoms campaign on it actually at some point. That's a nice throwback. A lot of, lot of fun on uh, Medieval 2. I did play Medieval 2 with the Stainless Steel mod a fair few times. But Medieval 2 on its own is is very nice. Well, I think I think we're gonna win here. Unless these guys break through. No, these guys have all just broken. If we can break this unit here. Yep, yeah, they've broken. Top stuff. The general's bodyguards over there, so we need to try and take them out. We've seen these guys off. I think we're going to manage it. Pants power has shifted, I would say, even or just in our favor. Good idea with the kill box. Yeah. No, like with, with, these, with these battles, knowing when to pull back and... Um, and form up the kind of the kill box within is um, a big part of uh, of the strategy really of making it work because pull back too soon you don't do enough damage and slow them down on the advance pull back too late and you don't have enough troops left to form up but I think we've got it I think we've got it we've still got plenty of reserve troops as well they're coming in with their general just letting me shoot him a bit so he should fall pretty quickly yep boom that'll be the end of them then 
almost like tactics make a difference in this total war game yeah i used to be very much of the opinion that sieges in shogun 2 sucked but actually have it this campaign specifically i have a uh a newfound love of them because i think they make you they force you to be very tactical with your deployment and placement because they're so simple and straightforward they lost 3088 they have 160 remaining we only lost one of our spear levy garrison completely beautiful defense um someone is yeah we could we could promote someone do it a new general reward them for fighting so valiantly and well and i also got it wrong last episode i thought we were 1872 going into 1873 so i mean just rough calculations i think i've probably got about 112 100 15 odd turns left to win the campaign or to try and win the campaign but because it's taken us so long to expand out of our starting position i don't know if we'll grab the 34 other regions that we need to plus the two victory ones by the end of 1876 but it's 24 turns per year we've just got into spring of 1872 um i guess we'll see but there, there is still hope there is still hope Although I did lose my artillery of this army last time. I got tricked by the AI. Which was rather annoying. Uh, yeah, pull these guys back. Because they were seeing off an enemy. Um, we will start building some levy infantry to leave behind here. I was actually at one point thinking I'll get some Yari key from here to send along to that main army, which, yeah, I will do just because they've got a decent charge bonus. Ready for orders. What I wouldn't give to be able to capture all those ships. I mean, they look, they look like they're absolutely annihilated. But there's no way. I need to reclaim that for which we can send... Yes, my lord. The plan was to send that army, but we can't get past that blockade, unfortunately. Um, finish them off. Nice work, mate. In you go. Job done. Solid stuff. You've got your line infantry holding down here. Um, I'm going to leave them here just because it's an extra protection for us down here. Help us out. Was I going to get more Armstrong? I've got one Armstrong gun. I've got another one coming. I, th I was saving up, wasn't I, if I could to try and get the Ironclad, the uh, Warrior class ship. Um, it would break our income, though. So I'm still going to hold off for it for now. I mean, if I was to get more ships, it should probably be more Payomaru. Although, could these guys go and take out those ships? There's enough of them. Surely. Um, if I leave... That little ship there, because then I could take this army back. What I'm thinking is I'll send this force to reinforce and help push this army. We'll give them new cannons. My sword for you, my How upset will they be? Yeah, we need the inn and independent. Yeah. So, I mean, we could build the police station. Probably not neither though. Cottage industry. That's unhappiness. Modernization. The inn. We'll counter that a little bit. Okay, what we'll do is we'll leave some line infantry behind. Minus three. 
I mean, I could just exempt you from taxes, couldn't I? Let's do that and then send the rest of you back here. Gather up fresh troops. You know what? I will treat myself to some Republican infantry as well. Got, uh, I could repair that because hopefully they're going to run away soon. I'm going to try and hit you with this navy. Force going up here is a bit concerning. Oh, and they've got an army coming up here. So that could be problematic for us here. Straight and they can't still can't reach it. Your orders, my lord. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do with you then. For now. It is an honor to serve. Can I not drop them off here? Oh, that's diabolical. Okay, I could drop them off over here. Damn the foreign veteran nuts. It's fine. Yeah, have that army to reclaim that. That does mean we don't have a northern defense force. A dedicated one at least. That's A-OK -okay right now. We can still manage. We can always bring that bring that army back. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's all we need to do. Let's see what an turn has in store for us. I know I've left that army there, but we're still replenishing and waiting for our other forces to come on up as well. What do you think the most difficult Total War game is to play? I found the opponent very difficult. Um, I would say Fall of the Samurai. Shogun 2 is quite, quite difficult, to be honest. I mean, there's various factions in, in various Total War games that have very tough starts. Um, so that also impacts it. But I think... Shogun 2 Fall of Samurai probably has the as a higher chance of sort of more difficult campaigns at times. Okay, then oh they're coming with another army. Okay, full stack. If only I could stop that navy, but unfortunately I can't. County unrest. Yet yeah, down here. Minus three, but we're getting some public orders. So if we exempt you, we will actually be negative. We are building more stuff, though. And we are recruiting more stuff. It's not going to be helping that we're actively recruiting more troops. That's what's that's what's hurt us right there. Got anything more to come? No. It's not a full strength force, but it's kind of what we've got currently. Let's see if we can't take these guys out. Yeah, you're running, so you obviously don't like the threat of our ships now. You can't escape from there, that's good. Good, good, good. Uh, with that army I've just sent over here though now, it's probably needed back to deal with that force that's coming.
That said, we could probably shuffle. Make his, man. A good number of forces to where I think they're going to end up landing. Even just leaving like two or three of those infantry is going to make a huge difference to their defensive capability. So we'll throw in some more levy. We're still fine there. Yeah, chuck you guys in and we'll push forward next turn. That should have allowed everyone there to replenish, which is good. So move back to Bitchu just to see if they've got anything there to challenge us. They don't. means we can push next turn. Um, although I would imagine you guys aren't going to be... Super duper happy with us moving on, so we'll get another unit there. You're going to get attacked next turn. Nothing I can do about that. Not right now, anyway. This army, we move up around here, and then we can see if we can respond. This ship is now free to move up and go over there to try and help reclaim it. But nothing we can do again right now. Uh, although this agent... Yeah, go across here. There we go. Train troops. I could try and sabotage them. It'll be all my money though. So just send the Shinobi up there to keep an eye on them. We've got more cavalry incoming next turn. So yeah, we'll need that little bit of extra income sat in there to buff us up. You guys are exempt. Unexempt you. Because that makes no sense. That island's exempt, but that we know why that is. So we're now fine on our income. That's good. Uh, no point repairing that stuff. It's just going to get hit again. Okay. Um, anything we can repair over here? Farms. Yeah, there we go. Right. How long have we got on our tech? 11 turns. Right, let's see what happens. End the turn again. Have you ever seen a Total War game that includes the whole world? Uh, no, the Total War game probably the largest sphere of influence and the largest um, Earth geography would have been uh, Empire Total War with the three theatres of war. Because you had Europe... Uh, North America and India. That's why I hope when, if and when they eventually do an Empire 2, it has either multiple theatres of war or they use the same technology they've used in Warhammer 3 for the massive Immortal Empires map to do something similar with Earth. Or the vast majority of it. I actually wouldn't be opposed to them returning to um, multiple theatres of war again. I'm going to fight this one because, again, we had a battle with pretty much exactly the same numbers at the start of the episode, start of the stream today. And we managed to turn that into a win. So let's see if we can do the same thing again here. Let's see if we can pull off another win. We've actually got more levels here on this map. I'm going to redeploy a little bit. I'm not going to go onto the bottom level. I'm going to go there. Um, I'm wary of trying to create a kill zone. So I'll pop you guys there. And I'm going to keep this unit back along there. Because if people come through that main gate, keep those spears there. To defend, sir. Off we go.
My gates are getting destroyed. As are my walls. I'm not. What? What artillery is it you've got? Just wooden cannons that are doing all that. You're having a giggle. These are the most accurate wooden cannons I've seen in the whole campaign so far. Or was it that it was slightly damaged anyway? But you're aiming for that tower and you're getting lucky. I think you're aiming for that tower and getting lucky. One of the towers is destroyed, sir. That is unfortunate. That is a... Yeah. I'm thinking they must still have some troops over here hidden in the trees and they're just not pressing the attack yet. For some reason, I used to dislike history, but I could listen to Lion talk about it all day. I honestly, I, I really actually appreciate the opportunity to talk through some, some topics and things like that uh, with you guys. Uh, for those on YouTube, we probably cut that out, that pause at the start. We were just, we were just talking about D-Day and what have you, because at the time of streaming and recording this episode, uh, it is the 80th D-Day celebrations or like memorial um, today on the uh, the 6th of June. And if this didn't go out on the 6th of June, well, whenever it was the 6th of June, that, that's what we're that's what we're talking about. Oh yeah, so here we go. Knew they had a few troops. Sneakies. Right. Quickly turn around. Turn around. Fire a little bit and then pull back. A little bit concerned about you guys. I might have to pull you back up here sooner than I would like. I'm just going to pull you back there. As long as they keep climbing there and not climbing that wall, we know we've got another round for them to try and climb up. Okay, it's only going to take them a little, little while to get up that little bit of fort wall, but that's fine. Keep standing there getting shot. Actually, it's really bad of me. Because chat are just talking about D-Day still. I've never watched Band of Brothers all the way through. I'm really sorry. I know I need to. I don't even know if it's actually on like Netflix or Prime or something like that in the UK. I don't know how I've not watched it as well. Like... Pichella, unsubbed, yeah. Sorry. I don't know how I haven't watched it because it is 100%. It's not that I'm not interested in it. I don't know why I've never watched it. I've just... Yeah. Never got round to it? I, I, don't, I really don't know. Makes no sense to me why I haven't watched it. Sir, your general is under attack. It's on Max and Netflix in the US. Good luck finding the time now. To be fair, I actually get a decent bit of time to watch stuff of an evening while I'm cooking. I tend to have an iPad up on the on the kitchen counter while I'm cooking food. These guys are in trouble. Left them down there too long. But that's okay. We're drawing a lot of them into the kill zone here. Come on. Don't 
don't know why sometimes they get stuck on the walls like this. I think it's because they're engaged elsewhere. And they can't seem to work out to pull back. I'm a little bit concerned as to how this is going now. Probably never seen the Pacific. I have seen the Pacific. I've seen the Pacific, but not Band of Brothers. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm terrible. I feel like they might have too many troops here and they're going to overrun me a bit. And also, these guys ignoring my order to pull back here is peeing me off. That line infantry coming up as well. Yeah, I think I've I think I've had it on this one. You guys still like, how have I seen the Pacific and not Banner? I know. I know. I'm a terrible person. And I get it. Sir, the battle is surely lost. Yeah. Also, this battle has not gone well. Probably, it's probably due to me not having seen Band of Brothers that I'm doing so badly here. I mean, it, even if we'd had that unit there and not got it stuck down there, I don't think it would have made a difference. They just had a, a few more better troops here. And actually, the larger castle gave them more opportunities to get more troops up. Keep the pressure on us. But we've still done a pretty significant amount of damage to them, so we will fight to the bitter end. Not a terrible person, just not optimized for good TV. <laughs> I think my problem is I switch between between genres. Like, and my 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 TV will like watch histories like all over the place. Sir, an entire unit is dead, sir. Probably because I don't don't get a chance to watch much TV. So when I do, I just kind of jump between the a very random list of shows tower, that I've been meaning to watch for quite some time. Close defeat. Close defeat. They lost 1,178. They have 2,086 remaining. It's fine. We've got an army over there to reclaim it. Our economy isn't too badly ruined by it. Province lost. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Yep, sure, Curry. It's not like they've got a terrifyingly strong force or anything. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I'm going to leave the wooden cannons behind and the levy. Waiting for more orders. How was that needless loop for? At your command. So I can attack you. You might run. Or you might stand. I guess we'll find out in a minute. That army's coming down here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't know if the army can still move after they disembark. I'm hoping they can't. 
because then those guys will get in there and then we'll break them comfortably. I reckon I... Mm, last time I order resolved in a naval battle, I got screwed over. So I'm going to fight this one. What's my, mo what's my most popular historical Total War game? Um, probably this, Fall of the Samurai, actually. Like, it, cha it changes quite a lot. Like, depending on what campaign I'm currently playing, what series I'm currently doing. But... Specifically, this series is really... I've really enjoyed it, and it's been really nice to get back to Fall of the Samurai. But, like, for me, I guess my top ones are, are Fall of the Samurai, Medieval 2, Attila, actually, despite it being poorly optimized. I think it's still a good Total War game, um, just because it's different, um, and it feels more like a survival game as well. Um... and empire slash napoleon although obviously empires are still a buggy mess to this day i i appreciate the scope and scale they went for with it prepare to attack sir no right, i know it's bad just going dead onto it but i've got to go in a straight line to launch my torpedoes And you guys are going to try and go at an angle so I can hit them as well. I really want to get a torpedo off. Don't know what the range is. But I'm going to try and fire a torpedo now. Okay, that's my torpedo ship gone. And my the ship's enemy ship's moving now, so my torpedo's still going to fail. Which sucks. That's unfortunate. Sadness. Rip torpedo. I just want to see a torpedo once. You got to do it. Get like really close to do it. Yeah, if that one hadn't moved, I would have got it for sure. Oh, yeah, go that way. See if you can get in between them a little bit, and then turn you round so you can keep firing and blasting. Oh, no, that one's on fire. Wow, okay. Fire is spreading through one of your ships. What the heck? There we go. Oh, that one's gone. That one's gone. That one gone. It's on fire. Yeah, happy days. Just that last one. If only my torpedoes could have hit. That would have been lovely. Well, at least we're going to have some more income to spend because my ships uh, have lost quite a few. That one's gone. There we go. Lost three ships. Oof. Your orders, sir. Setting the sail, sir. Out 
Anything is we need a strong navy. Just wanting the best way of getting this army up and round with all the enemy ships. It's probably a bit. Well, I think we've basically got to move and drop the ships off the army off each turn. Or risk losing it all. I guess we've got to come probably up here. To do it. I've got this 26 gun, which I really want to get into. Into the fight. Go up here. Your orders, my lord. Why have I got a? Why am I bringing that with me? Ready for battle. Yeah, bring up the cavalry Ready to this force for now. I could press the attack on them, but I'm assuming they'll just run. So we'll get them next turn. Stay near them. This army. Press the attack here. That's fine. Your orders, Monsieur. Everybody marches. Everybody fights. That's all good. Right. End the turn again. Yeah, I think I think the torpedo boats need to be brought in slightly later rather than just. I mean, it was really bold to try and just charge on in there. I was just hoping I'd get lucky enough that it would. That uh, enemy ship was just going to stay put. They're just bring all their ships around that way. There is no safe place for me to move that army by ship around the island. So I probably just need to move the army up through land. Polishment of swords. Um, do nothing. Keep our swords. <laughs> Yeah, I can take the minus one hit right now. Yeah, I think the best thing we can do with this army is just march it up through the island. It's going to take longer, but it's way too risky to take it via sea right now. I mean, I can maybe look to bring the additional infantry across once our public order is sorted. Thankfully, that army's only just landed, and now we've got those troops in there. They'll be more than capable of dealing with that force. Yes, my lord. Take these guys down. Bye-bye. Right, this army can move straight up here. Just keep the pressure up on them. So what we'll do, that army helps now support these guys push here, and the other one we're bringing up will send to take back that island over there. We will split off the... Um, We will split off the uh, extra artillery, though. The only problem here is we could try and order resolve it, but we could also use a lot of troops. I'm wondering if they might sally out to me. Do I need to be worried about this island where the Tosa are? Um, potentially. Might be worth trying to send an army across to take them from here. However, I, in a way, I kind of want to keep the Tosa alive. Because they are also at war with every all the other factions. So they are acting as a bit of a southern buffer. So I'm going to ignore them and just deal with pushing up the center of Japan. I think that's my best bet rather than spending time taking them out and then I'll be facing the full wrath of all the other factions in the game. At least this way they might get a teeny tiny bit distracted at times. Got to keep taking settlements, keep improving our economy though so that eventually we can get the ironclad out and then maybe, just maybe, 
will be in a position to properly have them. Might see if I occasionally can get some more ships out there, but I doubt it. Right. Let's see what happens during the intern phase. I'm assuming we get attacked here again. In the last year or two, you can see. I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of hoping we can just build up enough to just, yeah, keep keep the push alive. Keep the push going. The moment we take the pressure off now, I think, is when we'll really struggle. Ah, their army's going to go north. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, they took him out. Can I assist you in some way? Everybody march in. Everybody fight. Attack in the settlement, my lord. None will escape. I don't really think we've got the time to sit there and chill. But also, given us that artillery, not a huge amount we can do. Ready for orders. Yeah, come across here. Time to rest, my lord. Uh, so it's annoying that they're marching there. I mean, my line of feet are very capable. But I don't know if pressing the attack against the enemy right now is the smart move. I'm very tempted to kind of just do it because I reckon these guys, their accuracy alone is enough to shred that force. Otherwise, they're going to run amok north. Ah, they've got an Armstrong gun. we go. Oh, we get lucky with the terrain. E oh, that is a lovely place for an artillery. We, I mean, we're going to have to push to them. The strength of our force, though, is this part of our line. This line infantry with Neil Fire capabilities. Maximum flanking potential. Need to rush forward carefully. Today, sir, we attack. Hoping they're going to redeploy that artillery. Or not. Go 
hoping we can outrun their artillery strikes with all the hills and we get lucky with the terrain. Ah, oh, that's it, yes. Hit those trees. Beautiful. I'm thinking this unit of spears that I've sent forward here, I'm going to send straight at the artillery. They've thankfully put them in the best possible position. Right in front. Right behind some trees, so the trees are catching most of the shot right now. General go forward. We've got to outshoot him now. Spear units, they've broken, that's good. Just keep firing, just keep firing. Out. doing it. Go, 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 go. Hold the line a little bit longer. Nice. Just need to break them. Yep. Now on to them. Bring my general forward again. Heavy losses, but it's going to wipe this enemy army. Go, go, go. forward 
I'm struggling a bit, a little bit over here, but it's fine. It's all good. Last few in here to deal with. Bye bye. Solid. Job done. There we go. We lost one of our line infantry. It's not bad. All things considered. Can't finish them off this turn. That's fine. I'm gonna say, how unhappy is this place? A little bit, but not too bad. Up to your command. Yeah, we can we can finish them off easily enough. That's that's fine. Um, other than that, I think that all we can do try and do some repairs. See if we manage to draw them out here. What do you wish of heights? Is that all, my lord? The Obama are coming. I'm gonna harass my stuff over there. Oh, the Jozai coming in with a large army and reasonable sized fleet. Is there nothing else? Nice. We got the ambush trigger. Uh, I'm going to take the order resolve on that. We lose 100. They get wiped. Get wrecked. The old. Oh, no. My cavalry is wandering out here on its own. What a silly move. Ah, ah, ah. Foreign veteran increases in rank. Hopefully. No one enters. No I'm assuming the geisha has been trying to convince you to um, to join join their cause or get assassinated. Um, that's good. Military advisor. You got both those points there. Good skill of artillery units. Yeah, that one, fifteen percent upkeep cost. That's that's good. Um, so I need to go for either of those right now. Active infantry and cavalry. Yeah, 
Yeah, go for that. The next level, you can go for military advisor. Because you just need that and that which you've already got. Boom. Forgive me, but I, can't. I could challenge you to single combat and give it a go. Get any XP from it though. Receding. Five. I'll wait three more turns, I think. Right. You guys just wander in here. Ooh, okay, they're storming back. I mean, if they press the attack on this army, it's more than equipped to deal with these guys. They might send both forces. I don't know if they're that coordinated, to be honest. Guess we'll find out. Give me a good bit of income again. Do I risk the order resolve and somehow it managed to take out all these ships? Because they're all super weak, or would it wreck me? Problem is, if I go in and fight this myself, all they need to do is fire an explosive shot or two and clip my ship, and they win. I'm probably going to get absolutely screwed by the order resolve. But otherwise, the ship's not doing anything for me, so it might as well just be disbanded. Decides to defeat. Right. What a load of tosh that is, eh? What a load of... Yeah. Right, you guys. Get wrecked. Um, yeah, I thought we might take out more of them. I was hoping I might get lucky and get the... Uh, Armstrong guns there. We all need some ships, though, to transport these guys across here now. I doubt I'll be able to get these guys up here. You're going to be bombarding, yeah, that. So that's going to have killed trade. Can't go after that. Could they sail in with another army and take this? Possibly. So I probably should just leave that line infantry there. So I won't recruit anymore. I am just going to risk trying to get these ships up here. Because there's nothing they can do over here, really. Just got to keep on pushing where we can, where we can. Right, let's see where the end turn plops us in the next time. I think we'll then wrap things up. To see what sort of predicament we will be in for our next strum. They're not sallying out there. Are they going to push their armies along though? Joe's is still a fair ways away with that army, which is Good, Azu. They've just landed with a force. Oh, fun. Got enough chips down here. Okay, here they come. They're going to press the attack on their own. And actually, this is going to be a slaughter because the gates are open. So the AI tends to bug. Oh, no, they do have the Obama coming in. Really? Oh, you lucky ducks. Apparently, I've still comfortably got this. Uh, I think we'll be fighting, though, because I think reckon we can do better ourselves. Um, but yeah, seeing as the gates are open, they should just try and rush the gates, which means we'll be able to absolutely slaughter them. So we will open with this battle at the start of the next stream and episode. So for those watching on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.